The LifePak 15 non-invasive blood pressure monitor measures blood pressure using the oscillometric measurement technique to determine systolic, diastolic, mean arterial pressures, and pulse rate. The blood pressure cuff detects changes in oscillations, or amplitude of pressure pulses, in the arterial walls. The oscillations are created by the blood flow when the occlusion is released. Mean arterial pressure, otherwise known as MAP, is uniquely measured in the LifePak 15 as it corresponds to the peak of the oscillations. Systolic and diastolic are calculated relative to MAP. This measurement is not affected by sound and is designed to filter out mechanical disturbances similar to the pulse pressure signals it detects. Taking a non-invasive blood pressure measurement on the LifePak 15 can be initiated manually or set to recur automatically at predetermined intervals. Before taking a non-invasive blood pressure, clinicians can help to ensure a correct reading by following these simple steps. Ensure that the patient's clothing sleeve is not rolled or pushed up tightly, as that can create a tourniquet effect above the blood pressure cuff. Make sure to select the correct cuff size. Selecting a cuff that is too small may result in readings that will be too high, and choosing a cuff that is too large may result in readings that will be low. Always align the artery index over the brachial artery and ensure that the index line is within the range indicator on the inside of the cuff. Place the cuff one inch above the elbow. Two fingers should be able to fit between the cuff and the patient's arm. Keep the patient's upper arm at heart level. Don't let the patient's arm hang at their side. Support the patient's arm if necessary, with a pillow or blanket under the patient's elbow. Keep the patient as warm and calm as possible and take care to ensure the patient's fists are unclenched. Prevent the tubing from bumping other surfaces and avoid excessive stretching or pinching of the hose. Ask the patient not to move or speak during the procedure. Similar to ECG monitoring, high motion and or vibration environments, such as rough or bumpy roads, can interfere with NIBP measurements. Non-invasive blood pressure is an important clinical tool to be used in addition to patient assessment. Care should be taken to assess the patient at all times. Do not rely solely on the NIBP monitor.